So this place has an open kitchen and you can see the preparation happening here. That's the oven. Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's a new vlog again. I am going to be working out at this random gym. I have come here, nobody is there and everything, the entire gym is my gym. So basically I was traveling and yes, so basically I was traveling and I got this gym, access to this gym. So I thought, let's not miss the workout, my man. Let's make sure that we get some workout in. So what do we have here? We have some treadmills, uh, elliptical, uh, all these I'm not going to be using anyway today. So we have the dumbbells, we have the multi-machine and the bench press. Of course, these things are enough, more than enough for me. This vlog is going to be all about how to get a quick full body workout in when you're traveling. Right now, getting my warm-up done, basic warm-up, full body warm-up. And today, since I'm traveling, I'm not doing a full-fledged workout. I'm just going to be doing basic dumbbell and barbell full body workout. For that, I'm just getting my body warm. So I'll be starting with some dumbbell workouts today. I want to start with my upper body shoulders. So I think I'll be doing dumbbell shoulder press first one. and then I'll move on to dumbbell rows. So I've done about three to four sets of warm-up sets. There I've done about five, seven point five. Now I'm starting with 10 kgs for the shoulder press. Here we go. Always remember guys, when you're lifting heavy weights, your breath is very very important. So, hold your breath, keep your core strong and then lift, otherwise there are tons of you getting injured, especially your lower back. It's a very very sensitive area. Okay, let's head up now. So, I'm going to show you guys from the front angle. So, I take the hip width distance stance from there, like a tour, bend row position and here we go. that the muscle is doing more of the work and keep the uh, range complete full extension and full flexion so that most of your work is done by the back and not the front. between the workout then about three to four movements shoulder press dumbbell rows then i just finished bench press single arm bench press now i'm doing dumbbell lunges double, uh, alternating lunges with the dumbbells along with that i'll be doing this one back rows from the cable Left I think three more movements, one for biceps, one for triceps and one for abs. Then I think I'll be done with the entire body workout. I didn't do my chest because yesterday I done three variations for my chest. So that's why I didn't do today. I think I've not showed you guys the back rows and lunges. You guys already know it. So back rowing from the cable machine and single leg with dumbbell you'll do lunges. I will put up the video if I have that. Now I'll be doing some bicep curls, tricep extensions and some animal flow ab work. I think I'll be done with the workout. Plan after my workout is to go out, have some nice heavy high protein meal, come back and start working. So I will show you guys the next clip of working out bicep curls. After that, I will end the vlog. I will meet you guys directly after my workout during my lunch. So now I'm doing bicep curls with 10 kilo dumbbells. Doing about 10 repetitions and about 5 sets. Along with this, I'll be doing tricep extension there. So make sure that you don't rush the process. Slow it down. Control. There you go. The more you stimulate the muscle, the more the muscles grow. Yes, baby. Love, love that soreness. Love that feeling when that acid releases lactic acid in your muscle. Enjoy. Without break, once you're done with your 
Bicep curls you immediately move on to your tricep extension. This is not a very good machine. I am somehow managing it. Uh, but if you have a proper cable crossover, then you stand in this position where your upper body is in line and tuck properly, core strong. From there, you just push down to complete extension and do a 90 degree flexion. Or slightly higher also is okay. See, more the stretch you get on the muscle, better it is. Now, watch me do it. There you go. Full flexion and complete extension of my tricep muscle. Uh, a challenging enough weight where I start fatiguing around the eighth rep so that I push through the last four and finish my 12th rep. Strong feeling the soreness that lactic acid release in those tricep muscles. Now for the abs guys, last exercise, I'm going to be doing side kick throughs because what it does is it gives me a complete ab work. My erectus abdominis is involved, my obliques are involved, my erectus spinae is involved in these movements. So that's why I chose side kick through. So we have to sit into a beast position. From there, you do this 90 degree side kick, come back, kick to the other side. And in this extended position is where your abs are working the most. So make sure that you hold that position for at least a second or two. There, come back, change, hold, and stay as low as possible to the ground as possible so that your abs are working to the maximum. Just finished taking shower and I'm going to Pasta Street to have my pasta and some protein. So I'm here at uh, Pasta Street. Here at Pasta Street, they have fresh, fast, fun Italian style and they have wine, they have cafe, they have pizza, everything. An Italian treat. So this place has an open kitchen and you can see the preparation happening here. That's the oven. Crazy bro. This is the rocket pizza that I've ordered. A lot of uh, spinach and a lot of uh, jalapenos, spices and thin crust pizza. Oh ho, it's fun, it's a workout. Yes. Mm -hmm -hmm. Very nice, very authentic. You guys should visit this place. Pasta Street. Again, the Yenu Sindhira Lagro, full hotels, but it's all. You are out in the Aha, Yen Mada, Saka. After my heavy lunch, walking in this beautiful park here. No, it's Saka. It's a park. This park is not a park. It's 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 a park. It's